Next here we're going to learn how to grade a submitted student paper. So um, we posted an assignment here for a five-page paper on business intelligence. There are a couple of ways of getting to the papers. So one of the ways is uh, either click on here and under activities and then choose the uh, under submissions you would click on the actual paper. That's one way. The other way is uh, you can go to the assignment itself and then it'll show the paper the uh, way it designed it earlier or configured it earlier. And then further down here under grading, it tells you how many participants are in the course, how many papers have been submitted. So you can click here under view grade or grade all submissions. So you can click on that. And at this point, notice that it shows that uh, one paper was submitted on May 30th. If the student submitted it late, then it'll tell you how late, how much later it was submitted in red. Now, to grade this paper, all you need to do is you click on the check mark where it says grade here, and then it'll display all the options for this specific student. So now, here's the file that was submitted by the student. This is the area where we can put in the grade the comments and then also the feedback files back to the students so what we need to do since the file was submitted electronically and this is where we are moving at this point at uh, Cairn we are going to grade this electronically using Microsoft Word so that's why it is important when you define your paper requirements to specify that the student needs to put also their name and then the title of the paper so we'll click on the student's paper We'll choose to download it in a moment here. I'm going to save it under downloads. Actually, we'll create a new folder here, papers. Then save it. Once we save it, we are going to open it up. And then in Microsoft Word, we're going to click on Enable Editing. Under Enable Editing, then we are going to use comments in Microsoft Word. So we're going to click on um, Review and then we're going to choose the option for new comment so for example right there we want to specify that the box number is missing or um, right here we want to specify or you can highlight and make specific comments to it on the very top you specify the grade And then, one, um, so you'd go throughout the paper and make comments uh, for the student here. One thing that I suggest, I suggest is that you can choose this new comment option and right click on it and choose add to quick access toolbar. That puts it up here, so it's always up uh, on the very top left corner of Microsoft Word. In that way, you don't have to find it under review and choose that option, just an option. So now, once we are done with the student paper, we click on save and close it and then we determined that the students grade was going to be 70 out of 100 then under comments we could say see attached feedback file and then in here we could drag and drop the file or you can choose an add choose the file and then we said it was under downloads and we said it was under papers there's Hubert Sims upload it and save and show the next so this is probably what's the best is that you go from student all the papers have been submitted you're grading one student at a time so you're choosing save and show the next student in my case here, I don't have another submitted paper for demonstration purposes, but that's what you if you're grading this for reals. Another option is uh, for grading is uh, if you go under the assignment itself and you go under view or grade submissions, you can also choose under up here on the top left, you can choose to download all the submissions, all the student papers. So you download all the student papers and then it's going to put them in a zip file 
once you download them you'll need to extract all of these files in a specific folder so you're downloading for 50 students or 40 students whatever it is and then you can grade all the student papers all together and then upload the feedback and upload the uh, response files later in e-learning by going and following that procedure that I just showed a moment ago so that's how you grade the paper click on the paper open it up download it make comments in Word save it give them the grade post the feedback and upload the files